Stevie is a fan from Eastern Germany in her early 30s. She's always been a fan of things, especially music. Growing up, she was a fan of the musical group, The Kelly Family, and also of David Hasselhoff. But she didn't discover fandom until 2009, when a convergence of personal and professional factors came together. That year, shortly after she returned to Germany from a few years spent in the United States and was missing using English, a friend introduced her to the American television show Supernatural, which Stevie began to watch and enjoy. She soon joined Twitter and created her first fan Facebook page. She also began studying English and other foreign language teaching at university with the goal of one day living in London. In 2010, she joined the fandoms for two British television shows, Torchwood and Doctor Who, and created a fan Tumblr account. In 2012, she saw her first episode of Sherlock and joined the Sherlock fandom. In 2013, filming of the next series of Sherlock began in London and Cardiff, and Stevie began compiling and reporting on updates coming out of Setlock over Twitter and Tumblr. As a result, she found herself developing fact-checking skills, brevity, and speed in English for posting up-to-date and accurate information quickly for fans interested in following reports of filming or discovering leads about speculation online. At the time she entered fandom, Stevie was highly motivated to develop her English skills. In particular, she had a strong desire to shift her English from American to British English with the goal of one day living in London. However, motivation is not just an individual issue. As Ushioda explains, as we have noted, motivation is never simply in the hands of the motivated individual learner, but is constructed and constrained through social relations with others. This was something Stevie had become aware of, which is why she had shifted from fandoms based on a U.S. television show to fandoms based on British television shows. Stevie developed social relations with members of British English fandoms via social media outlets as a way to gain access to and participate in social communities of practice for the purpose of developing a new identity, proficient speaker of British, and for the purpose of mobility. In her own words, I tried to sh shift my accent from American English to British English. I tried to learn to write color with OU and so on, and I started to watch Doctor Who and Torchwood. Those were my next two big fandoms. Her decision to become active in online fandom was also influenced by social factors, especially those she encountered in university. It was the opportunity to completely immerse myself in the English language. That was it for me. I was so stoked. I was, I'm going to get online and I'm going to talk to people and learn English and I'm going to learn new words. And I used to sit there with a notepad next to Twitter and write down words I'd never seen before, look them up, learn them. Because that's how I acquired language, because I was in a German country going to university where even the English classes were held in German. I wasn't learning anything, and I wanted to learn. Stevie developed her English vocabulary and social media skills in online fandom, and by 2013, after she'd been in the Sherlock fandom for a year, filming on the next series and Setlock had begun. Stevie soon found herself engaging in a new fan practice known as spoiling, or the purposeful discovery of crucial developments in the plot of a fictional story of a film or TV series before the relevant material has been broadcast and released. This began when she gathered links to tweets from cast and crew about the first day of filming and posted an update to Tumblr. In response, she began attracting a high number of followers eager for daily updates and speculation about where fil filming would be taking place next. Stevie explained that as her presence in fandom grew, mainly due to setlock, she began to monitor her English more carefully for a wider audience. She observed that you could be attacked either way by both native and non-native speakers of English due to misunderstandings, but in her experience, the non-native speakers are really the loose cannon because they might understand something incorrectly because of their own lack of knowledge of the English language or sarcasm or whatever is being used as a metaphor, for example. Stevie also found that more and more people began looking to her as a source of all kinds of trustworthy information, and that this affected how much more careful she had to become in her word choice and explanations. As she explains it, due to the massive increase of hits and followers due to setlock, I somehow became someone who was consulted on various things, and I realized that if I wanted to help, give answers, etc., I'd have to make myself understood in the way I wanted to be. That's when my answers got longer and more in-depth, 
as I wanted to make sure my arse was covered. What Stevie began doing was writing longer posts that were divided into two parts for two very different audiences. She would include a bare-bones explanation of things, often in list form, with links and illustrations that could be read by less proficient English speakers. This would be followed by more detailed explanations that included humor and insider jokes that could be understood by more proficient English, English speakers with greater vocabulary and cultural knowledge about the show, actors, and British society. Stevie's original motivation for becoming involved in online British-based fandoms was to develop her English for the purpose of one day living and working in London. After completing her university degree, she was able to find work in London as a nanny, where she continued to seek out more permanent jobs. She found that her involvement in online fandom helped her adjust to living in a large international city. I know I have these tools because of fandom to think differently, to think critically, especially to try to see it from a different point of view. And fandom has provided me with so many tools regarding my own everyday life and also accepting the other lives around me as part of the whole. But beyond this, fandom had also helped make her develop language and social media skills valuable to different industries. In spring 2016, Stevie came across a job announcement for a firm on London South Bank seeking a bilingual German-English speaker for a position in online publicity and communications. The job requirements included expertise working with clients from multiple countries, social media skills, internet research skills, native writing skills in both German and English. She's been working there since June.